Hi guys, <coughs> Tom here from Tom Vapes. Um, I've got the Ithaca clone or Ithaca clone here to review. Um, this is actually the second video <coughs> that I've recorded for this um, because in the first one I used the coil that it came with, uh, the, the one that they send with it, <coughs> and At the end, when I tried to show it vaping, it was useless. The coil was. People, I've seen videos of people saying just rip them out and put your own in straight away because uh, it shorts all over the place and that sort of stuff. I checked it, it wasn't shorting. Um, it was running about uh, 1.6 ohms, I think. But it was so tightly wrapped around the wick that it couldn't feed juice to the coils anywhere near it quick enough um, you were half a drag and it was just running bone dry um, so obviously I couldn't finish the video off correctly so I built my own I'm on the third build I've done on it now uh, about three weeks <clears throat> three weeks ago I did the first video um, and I did leave it um, I did try using the coil for a day, a couple of days thinking maybe it just needed a bit of bedding in or whatever but no it just was useless <clears throat> so I made my arm um, and this is the third one I've done and I've had this coil in for about a week I think so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to close up cam I'll take it apart show you all its bits and then we'll do a vape on it and I'll do a separate video on how to build the coil in it, uh, or the, and the, possibly the couple of different ways I've built coils in this. So we've got to close up cam. So this is it. So the first thing to say for a, a clone tank like this, it's engineered really well. The, the threads on it and the seals are brilliant. I've had no problem with leaking. Um, and as I say, I've had it about a month now. So take it apart. This is your first bit that comes off this little ring here and it's got quite a big nice very well sealing o-ring inside it there and this comes apart into quite a few different pieces if I can do it oh, that bit's come off anyway so that section comes off and these do separate you can take that tank bit which is a polycarbonate tank so be careful with the types of juice you put in it I can't get it off anyway it doesn't really matter so that should be two pieces then your next piece that comes off is this mouthpiece slash integrated uh, juice control <coughs> I'll show you how that works at the end I'm a little bit juicy and it's a bit slippy, that's part of my problem. Why I can't seem to get any of it to come apart. Right, I'll take the bottom off, it might be easier. So this bit, bottom bit comes off which is your 510 connection and airflow control which I've heard people say it's either on or it's off and mine works quite well. I can tailor the airflow pretty well with mine. That's that piece. And if you've got a GG or some sort of device where you can hybrid things, <clears throat> I wouldn't know why you'd buy anything a clone if you can afford a GG. Um, you can just screw that bit if you've got a GG, or I think it possibly I think it should fit on um, a GU as well. I'm sure it will. Um, that can screw straight into onto your device, uh, mainly because your GG, uh, GU, uh, other mods like that will have their own. Um, especially with the GG's, got the airflow control on top of the thing, so you don't need that section there. So next bit that comes off is that bit there. 
can be juiced up, it's a bit slippy. There we go. See, they all fit together nice and tightly and have no leaks. Threads on it there are lovely, no rough bits, so they're all very good. That bit there. Last two pieces. That bit there, which will screw straight onto onto your GG, and then this bit here is your coil, or where you build your coils. Now it's got the ability for dual coil. There, it's in a little ceramic pot, um, and on my other video, I'll explain it a bit more in detail. This piece here, uh, when I do a video on the build. And this um, pin, which makes connection with your mod, is a, has got a massive range on it. You'd have to have a very, very deep 510 connection to ever need it fully out like that. So, it comes out, it looks really complicated when you set it out like that, but it's, it's so simple to build the coils and get it working the best you can so I'll put it together and I'll show how it vapes so that bit screws on to there screws down nice and tightly and then I like to screw this bit and I've seen people put that piece on last but I like to do it um, Makes it much easier for putting the rest back together, I find. Screw that first sleeve on. Like that. Then I put mouthpiece in. Oh. Now I screw it right down because we're going to be filling it up. And I've found that if you leave it open a bit, when you fill it up, you can uh, you can flood. I've only done it once. Right. Next sleeve. Screw that right down, nice and tight, in your tank. And then that last piece there. Right. Let's give it a wipe because I've got juice everywhere. Right, so in there is your 510 connection and it's mm, it needs to be just protruding slightly when you're gonna screw it in. So you can you can screw it out with anything. There we go. See, it's just sticking past ever so slightly. Can you see that? There. Right. And then it's ready to be filled up and go on whatever you're going to use. Right, I'll go to normal cam and we'll finish off the review. Right then. So I've realised I haven't even mentioned anything about price or anything. I got this from Fast Tech. Um, I think I paid $25, I think. Should know that, really. <laughs> um, but, again, it, it, that's irrelevant because uh, if you're buying it in England, it all depends on the exchange rate of how much you're going to pay uh, at the time. So, <clears throat> um, so de decently priced, really, compared to the actual Ithaca. And there is, I can't really find any differences whatsoever. Um, looks wise, there's absolutely no difference, minus the engraving. Um, 
material wise I don't think there's a lot of difference um I mean I have seen and used a, an actual Ithaca and I can't really see the any reason why it's four five times as much costs four five times as much easy but I don't know really understand why anyway I'm gonna fill this up now and I'll show you how it vapes <clears throat> now I've heard a lot of people saying that it's really awkward to fill up um, I don't think it I, I don't find it awkward to fill up now what you can do is when you take off this ring here off there you've got very small gap there to fill it up now I don't struggle with filling it up there I, it, it doesn't bother me at all you can take off this section and fill it up to the top of the the tank the clear bit put that back on and then just top it up there if you want it that full uh, I'm going to fill it up today with uh, some Totally Wicked and this is the Patriot range this is orange candy it tastes exactly like Tic Tac and it used to be called orange Tic Tac um, but they had to change that it's a 10 mil bottle and it's a 10 milligram um, I'm going to just fill it up oh, uh, down there as it doesn't bother me and I don't find it a struggle so just fill it up, squeeze it now when you're rebuilding the coil I'll show this when I do the coil rebuild um, when you're rebuilding the coil before you put it all together <clears throat> I like to prime the wicks a bit with a bit of juice um, and then you can and then it doesn't take as long to soak through <clears throat> now as you saw this we're all juicing I've been using it so it doesn't need priming or anything Give me a second, guys. Right, so just a little technical issue there, but sorted it. So as you saw before, I uh, wound out the bottom of the centre pin before connection. And because this is loose, when you screw it into something, which I'm going to do, I'm going to screw it into a KTS. Um, because it's loose, when you screw it, obviously it will touch way before the mod is uh, the tank is flush with the mod what it does it actually screws it back up up there so it will sit flush like that now this tanks a little bit thicker than the uh, wider than the KTS but I think that looks pretty good so uh, I'll open the juice control which works pretty well airflow control ring here is shut off so there's no getting anything off that open it a bit, a bit tighter eh, sorry a bit looser and then right open you could probably do straight lung hits off that if you're a lung hit person you can see there the air hole, I think, I'm not sure what it is now I can't remember I think it's about 3mm, near enough for looks about it so, I like it about halfway. Somewhere about that. I've got a video on the KTS if you're interested, you want to watch that. Um actually I won't try it on that one because I think that battery is dead. I'll put it on this KTS. On another KTS by the way. In 18350 mode. And give it a bit.
so as you can see it's pretty good I mean the coil is not the best coil I've ever made by far um, I'm just going to stick it on this EVIC and see what it's <coughs> oh batteries nearly did on this as well what no batteries um, let's see what it's running at Oh, no atomizer found. So, let's unwind the connection of it. It says one ohms. I'm going to try to fire it. Atomizer shot. So, the EVIC doesn't like it because it's sub ohm. Now, the last time I checked it, it was about uh, 7.8, no, 0 0.78 ohms. So, it should it'll be around about the same. And the EVIC doesn't like it. Um, See if there's a no. I've got some batteries charging. I was just going to see if there was an 18650 battery. Uh, let's stick it on here anyway and see what it does. I've been using it for nearly all day, so this battery is probably on its way out. Still pretty good. So that's the Ithaca or Ithaca. Uh, if you liked my review, please subscribe or watch my other videos. Thanks for watching.